Hey, it's John here in front of 11035 Tracy Lynn Drive for a rehab update. We've already started replacing most of the wood on the house. Most of it is done. And we've just about got the exterior ready for paint. We've just got a little bit of trim that we've got to install in a couple of places. But we had a lot of wood rot. We've gone back and replaced it with hardy panel siding and hardy panel and lap siding. What that is, is it's a cement board material that will not rot in the future and uh, it's going to last a lot longer than if we were just to come back with regular wood siding. This is the garage that we've converted into a bedroom. We've installed concrete block along the bottom to keep water from intruding into the room and we've installed a new window. <coughs> Here on the inside we've got all the demo done. We replaced a lot of the tile on the inside. Most of the tile was broken up and in pretty bad shape. This is the dining area, and this opens up into the backyard, which it, there was an addition on this concrete pad at one point, and we ended up having to demo it because it was not built to code. It doesn't have a proper concrete footer around the perimeter. It would have cost a fortune to bring it up to code, so we've decided to remove it, and we kept the concrete pad so that way it can still be used for, you know, barbecue, keeping a grill on, that sort of thing. So this week... We will should be ready for drywall. We're just getting through our initial inspections. Here in the new room, you can see we've got our new framing installed. The AC guys have been here as well as the electricians. We made some modifications. They had the closet too far forward, so I had to move it back. And they've got to come in and just fix up some of the repairs from that. But um, we'll have insulation going in this week. Once we get insulation in and inspected by the city, we'll be ready to install drywall in this room. And then we'll do the rest of the drywall patchwork throughout the house the dents and dings and holes and stuff that normally comes with one of these homes when we get a hold of them. So we should be somewhere in the drywall phase next week, perhaps painting the interior and the exterior paint should start as well. So stay tuned for next week.